Hi everyone, I just wanted to check in with everyone and make sure everyone's doing okay. I have only gotten a few pictures sent to me, so I'm hoping to see some more from all my artists out there. And the next few videos are going to be a little bit shorter, fun activities for everyone. So I hope that you still stick with me and do them, and then I'll get to some more advanced projects. So, can't wait to see some. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with all caps and using just my pencil. So after you have it written in all capital letters, you're gonna take a Sharpie and you're gonna trace around it kind of like you're doing the bubble letters. When you get to the bottom part though, I want you to stop. Don't forget the inside of those. All right, so when you get to the bottom part, I want you to do a drippy type line. So go out and make sure they're all curved lines. And then you can go back and connect it. Some of these might overlap a little and that's fine. So if you want it to go behind that one. This one is gonna be hidden. And we can start it right here. And then finally, you can go back and erase your pencil line. So one more thing I forgot to mention, if you do wanna color these, there's a cool thing you can do if you just have crayons at home. You can start with one color and only color halfway down. Once you get to about halfway, start lightening your color. And we're gonna go ahead and do that for all the rest. And then you're gonna take the second color and lightly go over this. So even with just using crayons, they still can blend and you can still layer them. If you haven't ever seen really nice crayon fine art, I would look it up also. There are some really, really talented artists that just use crayons. So there we go. Make sure that if you guys do any colors, make sure that they are similar colors when you blend them, because if not, they might turn out to be like a muddy brownish color when you mix them. So pick colors that are alike. Have fun, and if you have anything other than crayons, go ahead and try oil pastels, chalk pastels, some special markers you can even use if you have the fancy markers. So show me what you guys got and how creative you can be with this.